Welcome back to Talk Pittsburgh. Right now, Boaz is in Allentown checking out a new production from Quantum Theater called Scenes from an Execution. Sounds pretty ominous, but we always know Quantum does it up right by putting things in really unique places. So tell us about it, Boaz. Yeah, it does sound ominous, right? Scenes from an execution, but I was chatting with one of the actors, Lisa Velton Smith, and you were saying it's not that kind of execution. It's not like let the heads, you know, roll or anything. No, it has nothing to do with heads rolling. It okay. actually just has to do with her completing the painting, the execution of painting. Okay. So you're just simply seeing the, not simply, it's actually more um, exciting than that. Yeah. Uh, but you're actually watching Galactea, the character that I play, the thoughts that she has about creating the painting and then each step from there. And it's in 16th century Venice, mm -hmm. but it feel, it's not like you're talking in like, thou shalt not paint this. <laughs> you're not talking in that way. No, it's actually very contemporary yeah. and very modern, but the feeling um, that you're talking about in terms of 16th century Venice, you know, when, when people are dying left and right right, 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 the gravity of the situation, you're definitely getting that in this production. It's a big production. Yeah. The characters are big. Yeah, the um, scaffolding is big. The scaffolding There's is even some smoke here. We There's special some effects. Fog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it, one of our crew members, Annie, saw the show last week, and, and seeing a show called Scenes from an Execution, she was expecting mm -hmm. to see something sort of heavy and serious. And she was like, oh, it's hilarious that felt like I was watching a Gilmore Girls episode, which is not what I expected her to say. Yeah, I love that. I think it has to do with the velocity of the language, how fast we play, the arguments that we play with. I mean, you get an opportunity to watch a very controversial, strong female painter yeah. during this time. And she's not afraid to stand up for what she believes in. Right. Um, her values and her values and morals might be questionable. Okay. Um, so it can, <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, but it can be fun to watch someone like that navigate a world in which there are very serious consequences for people who push up against that. Yeah. And one of the cool things about quantum theater is that it doesn't take place in a theater. They always stage the shows in different, unique settings. And so. For this one, we're in Allentown at this community center called Abiding Missions, mm -hmm. and it is also this 100-year-old church, which is like, I think Scott can show you the ceiling up here. It's like this crazy, intricately painted ceiling, which, which I guess sort of makes sense if we're in 16th century Venice. <laughs> well, the wonderful thing about quantum is they actually put you in the place for the experience. Yeah. So where you are at is actually like another character, mm -hmm. and it might even provide you a 360-degree experience that you wouldn't necessarily get when you're going to, say, see a piece of theater that is in an actual design. Sure, theater, if you're going right. into the band of them and right. seeing a musical there, yes. this it sort of has a different feel. And what about as a performer? Because it's like there's not a traditional backstage, there's not a traditional stage, it's not like you have, you know, your your normal dressing rooms. Yeah. What's that like? Um it's for this production it's been quite fun because we're all in one room together yeah. getting ready uh for the show and when we so walked in we community. accidentally walked into that room because we didn't know we were <laughs> yeah. going. Scott and I wandered yeah. in and then we we're like, Oh, I think this is a makeshift dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you're really getting used to um all hands on deck, quite yeah. frankly. And it actually makes it for a more community building experience in terms of being together in an ensemble. And that's one thing I want um, folks to take away is that the ensemble is fantastic. Yeah. Each member of the cast brings these characters to life in such a rich and big way. Right. And as you mentioned earlier, in a hysterical way. Yeah. So I think people are gonna go on for a really great journey and experience. And so cool, just walking in today, I didn't know about Abiding Missions before. And like when people come here, they're sort of learning about its mission too. Mm. There's a food pantry, they have this yeah. very cool after school program, and, it, and it's a big part of Allentown, I guess. It is so charming to come here for rehearsals and yeah. see the kids playing downstairs. There's chickens outside, the older kids are taking care of the younger kids. So there's a lot of lessons and values that are happening in this building that also enrich the experience being here. Yeah, and I did want to mention, I was looking at your sort of IMDb page before, Lisa's like a big deal. It's very cool to be able to see her in a show. You've been, you've been on Broadway, you've been on television, and you were in on an episode of Early Edition. Oh my God! Which I want to know about, because like, how did that guy know what was going to happen the next day? How did they get that newspaper? Did the cat have something to do with it? I can't tell you anything about that. I you've can, been sworn to secrecy. I have been sworn to secrecy, okay. but I can tell you that memory some of those lines in that show was some of the hardest work I've ever had to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Simeon subject, you know, say you, that. How yeah. many years later do you still remember that? Oh, my, well, what are we talking about? Are we 15 years? Old? Yeah, maybe. Like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Heather, did you watch Early Edition? Do you I have any follow-up questions yes. or, or questions about the show? That was, I, <laughs> I remember that show so vividly because it was such an interesting concept. It was such a great show. 
Really cool stuff. How did they get that newspaper? I, how? How? We'll never know, Boaz. Thank you so much. And really great stuff over there. Quantum Theater, Scenes from an Execution, runs through April 27th at Abiding Missions in Allentown. You saw the setup there. It's amazing. All the shows begin at 730 in the evening. We're going to have this information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.